COVID-19 pandemic has been immensely challenging for everyone personally at, in our state, our country, our entire world has been challenged by COVID. But with any challenge, there are usually opportunities. And one of the opportunities was that COVID illuminated some of the challenges inherent in a fee-for-service methodology. Fee-for-service requires volume and face-to-face -face interaction. And with COVID, we were all having to move into a shelter-in-place environment. But people still needed health care. People still needed interaction. But our fee-for-service model was not allowing for that. And also fee-for-service and TPS has restricted the amount of telehealth delivery capabilities health center providers are allowed to use. But COVID has opened the door to a whole bunch of telehealth and also showed not just CBCA and our members, but also the state that it really is time to change and let's not wait for another catastrophe to happen to change payment. Let's try to get ahead of it now. It's also in alignment with the state. The state of California has been working on a new uh, managed care delivery model, a new vision for Medi-Cal, which they refer to as CalAIM. And that's very much about integrating the delivery system, providing beneficiaries in Medi-Cal with an integrated approach to behavioral health, primary care, oral health. Um, and health centers are really one of the only models in California that could really deliver fully on this vision that DHCS has in Cal AIM. That's another reason why DHCS really wants to work on uh, reform to payment methodology so health centers are better positioned to achieve this vision that DHCS has for Medi-Cal. Uh, 